What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Albuquerque Vipers franchise on Madden 07. Last week Orlando Cross had himself a great game and that won him NFC Offensive Player of the Week as we beat the New York Jets 24-10. This week we are playing the Washington Redskins and the newspaper is actually predicting we're going to lose to them. I really hope we don't. They're not a great team. They only have four wins at the moment. Their starting quarterback uh, going into the season was uh, David Carr. He got hurt though so now they got Jason Campbell at quarterback. Um, this team is dealing with a lot of injuries. As you saw, their car was hurt. Clinton Portis is hurt. Uh, Santana Moss is hurt. Those are three of their their key positions, some of their best players. Uh, so that's one reason why they've been so bad this year. Jason Campbell had a kind of promising start to his career. I think it was in his second season. He threw five touchdowns and one interception. So it was looking a little promising. Uh, he took a year off, I guess, sitting behind Carr. Then Carr got hurt. Campbell got a chance. And he has not done the most with that, throwing, I believe it was just two touchdowns to 17 interceptions, putting up Alex Smith type of numbers. In fact, worse numbers than Alex Smith. He has less touchdowns, although Smith does have more interceptions. A lot of interceptions have been thrown this year, especially with Campbell, uh, Smith. Uh, Roethlisberger's done a lot. There was the Bills quarterback, Andre Bennett. Just a lot of interceptions and not a lot of touchdowns for these starting quarterbacks. So uh, there's definitely going to be a big value, bigger than normal, um, when it comes to quarterbacks this offseason. The Albuquerque Vipers get the football to start off. We go with a play-action play and then end up throwing it to Bennett there. He's going to pick up a quick first down. A quick strike there to Drew Bennett now. A nice throw by Cross. Picks up a gain of eight. Bennett's going to run this one, but he's only going to pick up a yard. Third down. Here we give it to Phil Van Dyke. He takes it up the gut, and he's going to pick up the first down and move the chains. Orlando's rolling to his left here, and he's going to be sacked. I was trying to throw that one. Probably a good thing I didn't throw it, though, because uh, it probably would have been interception. So I'll take the sack over the pick. Cross is rolling out to his left yet again. He's going to try to run, but instead he's going to be sacked again and lose two more yards. Third down and long. Cross is going down for the third straight play. He's going to be sacked. Not a good job by the offensive line on that drive, or by me really, for continually rolling out to my left. The Vipers defense starts off getting a sack on Campbell. Now they're going to run it with Betts, and he's going to pick up a few yards. Third down and long. Campbell's going down yet again. Roger, Roger getting in on that sack. So we got sacked a lot on our first drive, but then we got two sacks for ourselves on our first drive on defense. Still a scoreless game. Here goes Michael Bennett running, bouncing off of blockers and picking up 10 yards. Phil Van Dyke gets the football, but he's only going to pick up a yard. Second down and nine. Orlando throws a quick strike underneath there to Drew Bennett. That's going to pick up a gain of eight. Third down and one. A quick strike over the middle as the Redskins sent the blitz. Alex Smith gets us out to midfield. Setting up the screen for Michael Bennett, but Washington was ready. They were all over that. Get the tackle for loss. Phil Van Dyke's going to carry this one to the right side. He'll pick up about five yards. Third down for Albuquerque, crosses floating this one out. Van Dyke has the catch, and that gets us inside of the 25-yard line. First play of the second quarter now, going to the end zone. A great play there by Sean Taylor, breaking that one up intended for Phillips. Here goes Michael Bennett running up the middle. He's going to pick up six yards. Third down and four, Cross moving to his left, going there for Drew Bennett, who has the catch but short of the first down. So John Hall is going to come out to attempt this 33-yard field goal. The kick is up, it is good, and the Vipers are going to get on the board first. In the second quarter, and the Redskins are only on their second drive today. They're going to run it there, but he's going to lose two yards. Campbell throwing there. He's got Johnson open, and he's going to pick up the first down. Jason Campbell, he has all kinds of time in the pocket here, and he's got his running back bets wide open, and that's going to be a big play there for the Redskins, getting them out into Vipers territory. Jason Campbell's running. He's going to break a tackle there and pick up a solid gain of eight. They're going to give this to Betts now. He gets some nice blocking across the 20-yard line before getting brought down by Darnell Bing. 
Campbell stepping up into this throw. He's got Kevin Johnson open there. And that's going to pick up three yards. Betts is going to get the handoff here. Makes a man miss. It's going to make it third down and one. Campbell stepping up in the pocket, and he's going to go down. Wong got in there on the sack. And that's going to force Washington to kick this field goal and tie the game up at three apiece. Albuquerque with the football now. Michael Bennett running this one to the right side, and that's going to pick up six yards. We're going to give it to Bennett again, going on the right side again, but he's unable to pick up the first down. So it's going to be third down and short. Orlando moving to his left and just barely able to get that pass off and avoid the sack. And Albuquerque's going to go three and out. The Redskins are trying to put together a two-minute drill here. A great run by Betts right up the gut. Picks up a good chunk of yardage. Campbell's going to throw this one. Going for it all here. He's got a man open. Randall L inside of the 10. First down and goal here. Campbell's going to the end zone. And it's caught by Brandon Lloyd for the touchdown. Ike Taylor on the coverage. The ball actually morphed through Ike Taylor a little bit there. Uh, this game's not perfect, but it's close to it. And, uh, yeah, it's going to give Washington the 10-3 lead. Albuquerque's going to try to put together a two-minute drill of their own. Taking a deep shot there. Luckily, Sean Taylor did not pick that one off. Cross is looking to throw here again. He's going to roll to his left. He's got open space in front of him. Makes a move out of bounds across the 40. Cross looking to throw here. Going to the right side. And that's going to be picked off there by Springs. Trying to go to Drew Bennett. A big hit there by Orlando. But he's able to hold on to the football. Just a bad decision. Some tunnel vision there. Orlando's like, that's where I'm going to throw it. He still threw it. Even though it was well covered. And Washington is ready to go up by two scores here. There goes Betts running up the middle. He's going to pick up the first down. Campbell looking to throw here. He's going to the left there. He got hit. He let it go. It goes out of bounds. There's not a single receiver near him. And he's going to be called for intentional grounding. Second down and 20. Betts is going to run up the middle and pick up a gain of four. The clock is ticking down close to 20 seconds now. Campbell got hit as he let that one go. It falls incomplete, but they are in field goal range. This kick is up. It is good, and now the Redskins are going to have a 10-point lead. But Albuquerque, we're not done, even though there's only 18 seconds left. They're going to squib kick this, and it's going to go out of bounds. So that's going to give us the ball in pretty good field position, setting us up at the 40. First down and 10 here. Orlando's looking to throw going over the middle. He had Hall open, but he cannot hold on to it through the hit. Cross stepping up into this one. Here got hit. Is he let it go? That was intended for Phillips. Glenn Nash was still able to make the catch despite Sean Taylor on the coverage. Orlando going over the middle there, but it's going to fall incomplete. Five seconds left. A quick strike there to Michael Bennett. He has the catch, and Albuquerque burns a timeout with two seconds left on the clock. This kick is up. It is good, and that's going to send us into halftime where we are down only by six. The Redskins get the football to start off the second half here. Campbell's got time in the pocket. It's going to be picked off. Tommy Pauly jumped in front of that one. And that's going to set up Albuquerque at the 15-yard line. A great start of this second half here for the Vipers. Bennett running to the right side. He's going to pick up a gain of five. Bennett to the left side now. He has a first down diving to the end zone. But he's going to be ruled just short. First down and go. Van Dyke is going into the end zone, falling forward there for the touchdown. And things are all tied up here in D.C. Betts is going to run that one there, but Akbar is there with the tackle for loss. Play action. Campbell, he's got a man open there. It's Antoine Randall and he has them with a new first down at the 40. Betts running up the middle. He picks up three yards. They're going to give it to Betts again. Going up the middle again. And it looks like he picked up enough to move the chains. Indeed he did. Betts running up the middle on the draw. But he's not going anywhere there. Second down and ten. Betts are going to get the football yet again. He's going to pick up two yards. Third down and eight. Campbell's under a little bit of pressure there. It's going to fall incomplete. And the Redskins are going to have to punt. Play action, cross moving to his right. He's going to take off and run. He's going to pick up six yards. 
Here goes Michael Bennett running to the right side now. He's not going to be able to pick up the first down. That's going to make this third down and short. Cross was moving to his left. They set the cornerback blitz. And, uh, yeah, that kind of ruined that whole play there. And Cross is sacked yet again. Betts is running this one to the right. He's going to pick up five yards there. Second down and five. A toss out to the right for Betts. He falls forward and picks up enough for the first down. Now he's going to run this one up the middle, and he's going to go untouched all the way to the end zone for the Redskins touchdown. Man, who is this guy? We, we thought, you know, we might be able to shut down their run game. We have one of the best run games in the league, or one of the best run defenses, rather. And, uh, you know, with Clinton Portis out, you'd think we'd be able to shut down the backup, but that has not been the case today. Orlando is going to take off and run here. He's going to pick up five yards before going out of bounds. Third down here for Cross. Moving around in the pocket. He's going to throw that one into traffic. Avoid the sack. But we're going to have to punt yet again. Cross has been under a lot of pressure today. First down and 10. They give the football to Betts. He's going to pick up three or four yards. On second down, they're going to give it to Betts yet again. He's going to pick up about a yard or two. Campbell's looking to throw on third down. Now he's going to take off and run. Daryl Finn in there on the stop, though. A great tackle by him forces a Redskins punt. Orlando's going to throw on the move there. Charles Phillips with his first catch of the day in open space. Tries to do a spin move. Can't really do it successfully, but still a big play for the Vipers. Gets us into Redskins territory. There, Cross is sacked yet again. Jesse Baker, the former first-round pick, gets his third sack of the game. Second down and 17. Cross throwing there. Glenn Nash with the catch on the left sideline. And that's going to set us up just outside of the red zone. Orlando Cross running over to his right now trying to dump it off to Phillips. But the D lineman there got in the way. Here goes Bennett running this one to the right side. He's going to pick up 7 or 8 yards there. Make it 6. Third down and 4. Cross moving to his right. He's going to run. He's going to be short of the first down though. So bring out John Hall for the field goal, even though we're down by seven. Uh, this allows the defense to be able to give up a field goal, or if we score a touchdown, we can take the, lead, take the lead. I was tempted to go for it, but I didn't. That run goes up the middle there and picks up a gain of seven. They're going to give this to Betts again, who stiff arms him and makes two defenders miss, but then he loses the football. Roger Wicks forced it out. Jeff Earlbridge with the Fumble recovery there, and Albuquerque's at midfield, a much-needed turnover. Michael Bennett running this one to the right. He's going to pick up a gain of three. Second down and seven. Cross going to the end zone for Drew Bennett, and he brings it in for the touchdown. Albuquerque taking the three-point lead now with under three minutes to go in the game. Betts is going to run this one. He's going to pick up some solid yards there, make it five. Second down and five. They're going to give it to Betts yet again. And he keeps falling forward and picking up whatever he can get. Betts is going to get the handoff here, but he's not going anywhere. We hit the two-minute warning here. They give it to Betts. He gets some nice blocking there. Runs Mike Adams over, and nobody's going to get him. 30, 20, 10, touchdown Redskins. Landell Betts, that's going to put him over 200 yards today, averaging 9 yards per carry. What an amazing game this no-name backup has had today. A great throw there to Glenn Nash down the right sideline. Sets up the Vipers in Redskins territory already. we got to get into the end zone here. Cross moving to his left, and no, he's going to take the sack. Oh, man, I was trying to throw that one. But as I've said before, you can't throw while you're sprinting. you got to let go of the sprint button before you throw in this game, which is unfortunate, and I take a dumb sack. We do pick up most of that lost yardage there, though. Third down and three. Cross moving to his left. He's got Glenn Nash wide open in the end zone. Man, they didn't even bother to cover him. Nash gets in the end zone, and the Vipers are going to take the lead with not very much time left on the clock. Campbell's going to try a couple Hail Marys here. That wasn't really a Hail Mary, but uh, got it out to Johnson, but he could not keep his feet in bounds. And then Campbell's going to be sacked on the next play there. Third down and 14. Jason Campbell going to go underneath there to Johnson. He picks up some solid yardage there, short of the first down, and Jason Campbell is hurt. 
So in comes former Patriot Matt Castle. Just a couple seconds left in the game. Castle's taking a deep shot here. He's got Randall L open at the 15 yard line. Two seconds left. The Redskins burn a timeout, kick this field goal, and they're going to force this game into overtime. What a clutch throw there by Matt Castle, getting them into field goal range. Dre Bly got beat again. Down to midfield, man. Who would have thought this game was going to go into overtime? The Vipers go tails, tails, never fails. And we're going to get the football to start off. And this is the old overtime rules. A field goal wins it. Dante Hall is going to return this kick from just inside his own end zone. He gets some nice blocking there. And he's going to set us up across the 30-yard line. Jason Campbell, he is. it's not a big injury for him. But it does not look like he's going to be coming back today. Second down and 12 after that run loses two yards. Remember, last time we were in overtime, it was against Seattle a couple weeks back, and Michael Bennett put the team on his back. It was all run plays by him, and it got us into the end zone. Uh, but that's not looking like it's going to work so far. He had his run go backwards, a pass that goes nowhere, and then Cross is sacked. Down goes Matt Castle there, though, on that sack. It's going to be a loss of six. Betts is going to run, man. Our defense cannot stop this man. He picks up those six yards. Third down here, Castle going deep over the middle. Great play there by this defense, breaking that one up, and the offense is going to get the ball back. Fourth down and 10. They're going to punt this one away to Dante Hall. He's just going to call for the fair catch here at the five-yard line. It takes a favorable bounce for the Redskins, though, and we're going to have to start off this drive at the seven-yard line. Michael Bennett's going to run that one to the right side. He's going to pick up four yards. Orlando Cross looking to throw here under some pressure. Gets it out to Alex Smith. He's not going to pick up a whole lot though. Third down and five. Cross moving to his right. He's got Phil Van Dyke open. He steps out of bounds but is able to make that catch. Orlando Cross over 300 yards passing for him so far today. Chad Pittman, the rookie tight end, makes that nice nine-yard grab. Michael Bennett's going to take this one to the right side. Not a big run but enough to move the chains. Cross looking to throw, and he's going to be sacked yet again. This offensive line has been struggling a lot. Second down and 20 now. Cross running to his right. He's got Dante Hall open. Picks up the first down, and more gets pushed out of bounds at the 40-yard line. We just need five more yards now to get in field goal range. Cross running to his right. He's just going to throw it away. He's not going to take a sack there. Second down and 10. We're going to give this one to Michael Bennett. He falls forward and gets us out to the 35-yard line or the 36. So we're close to field goal range. We're going to run it with Phil Van Dyke. He's not going to pick up much. John Hall now from 54 yards for the game winner. His kick is up. It is true. It is good. And the Vipers escape the Washington Redskins with a win here. And we stay perfect in franchise history 3-0 and oh when it comes to overtime games. Man, going into this game, I really did not think it'd be overtime. I thought we were going to really dominate this game. The Redskins, uh, they started off this season 3-0, and and then everything went to crap after that as they are a four-win team now. Another disappointing year for them. Uh, but, man, they played us real close today. Cross it over 300 yards, two touchdowns. He did have that dumb interception. 65% completion percentage, which is pretty good for him. But sacked eight times the combination of the offensive line. And I just keep backing up or rolling out when I don't need to because I don't trust this offensive line. And that just leads to even more sacks. This receiving game was pretty good today, especially Glenn Nash. He came up clutch. Uh, he had that touchdown at the end of the fourth quarter there. Lorenzo Perry, man, he's given up four sacks in this game. He's given up a lot of sacks in his career. He He's looking like he's a bust. I drafted him blindly in the first round of our first draft, and he just has not turned out very well. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a moist rest of your day. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey. Goodbye.